Well, how's it going, guys? Happy Monday. Happy Monday, whatever day it is. April something, 11, 12, something like that. It's Monday. You know what that means. It's time to pack my weekend orders. I just got uh, off the morning show with Johnny. Got everything here. I really, I'm really stressed for time today. So I'm not going to be going around and looking for everything live. I got everything here already. I'm just going to talk to you guys about it here and then start packing because it's crazy out there. So I had a good weekend. I had 30 sales total. I had 29 on eBay, one on Poshmark, zero on Macari, zero on Facebook because you'd be slacking. But uh, uh, 30 orders is still amazing because I did zero, zero, zero listings from Friday to today. I haven't done a listing in two days. I'm terrible. I know. Don't use me as an example. Do what I don't do, okay? But it was my sister's wedding, so I had the excuse going for me. Uh, I had, and then yesterday when I came in here, I was busy doing YouTube work, editing three videos, recording another video, stuff like that. So uh, listing starts today. I'm gonna get on the grind, I'm gonna kill it. But I'm thankful that eBay didn't punish me and still gave me a lot of sales. So let me talk about what sold. First, talk about Poshmark. I saw this Corpus Christi hat on Poshmark. I have a bunch of these. I got them all at Goodwill for three bucks each. They've been slowly uh, selling. And these and this one sold on Poshmark for 15. Also sold on Poshmark. Uh, on Poshmark. That's it for Poshmark. No more love for Poshmark. The rest of it is eBay. I saw this rolling glove on eBay. Sold for $18. Guys, it's baseball season starting now. If you have baseball stuff listed now or listed never, because usually you get March and April and that's about it. You don't get any more time to sell baseball stuff. So sell it now. I also sold this really cool. Leonardo Da Vinci. Just Leonardo. Ninja Turtle. The best Ninja Turtle of all time. This is a Nickelodeon Big Boy Plush 22 ouncer. This one's getting drop shipped because it said it is a gift. Don't put anything eBay related on it and don't put a receipt. But I don't care. As long as they pay full price, I'm happy. That thing sold for $22. That was from a donation pickup. So I'll probably have 50 cents if that into it. That thing sold. Sold some shoes. Sold some exhilaration women's flats. I think these were a donation pickup. These guys sold for $18. I sold these New Balance big boy shoes or medium-sized boy shoes, size 11s. These guys sold for $36. I sold a purse, like a cute blue purse, blue eyes, match game. Uh, I would have kept it for myself, but I don't wear purses. But <laughs> this purse right here sold for $13. The brand is Gianna Barini. For those of you guys who want to sell purses for 13 bucks like me, there we go, that brand for you. I sold a lot of DVDs. These are six DVD lots, uh, six kids DVD lot. Uh, people ask me how I sell DVDs and that's how I do it. Anytime I get DVDs in a bulk pickup or in a storage unit, I try to make a bulk lot of six to eight. Eight is better because uh, you get more money for it. Six is still good. So pretty much if I have eight, I sell them for 20 bucks. If I have six, I sell them for 14. These sold for 12 because they were on sale. And I just try a lot similar things together. So these were all kids movies. I have Cars, The Muppets, Rise of the Guardians, Igor, Great and Powerful, and something else, The Last Mimsy, I don't know. These wouldn't have been able to be sold individually because just there's no market there. But if you lot them up, make a big lot, uh, they move pretty quickly. So I do like kids genre, I do Disney, I do horror, I do action, I do sports, I do Christmas, a comedy. If I have similar actors, I do, I do a lot of that. So that's how I sell them and move them. So that's sold. Um, I sold these. Pretty cool right here. Uh, these right here, it's a whole lot of 10 Goosebumps, R.L. Stein books. This remind me of like elementary school. I used to read Goosebumps all the time. These came from that $20 uh, watch storage unit. These are from the books that was there. Again, weren't worth by themselves. A lot of them as 10. I got 20 bucks for the lot. I'm pretty happy with that. So this is actually a DVD that sold and it was, this was good enough to sell by itself. This is a Teen Witch. This came from that storage unit that I bought, my most recent one. Not my most recent one, my most recent one's over here. <laughs> That's my most recent one. Has to be all sorted through still. Uh, by the way, this is going to be Joey. But uh, <laughs> my most recent one is still here. But uh, the one before that, it's called the skateboard storage unit. That's when I had the skateboard, had a bat, uh, clothes, and a big tote, huge tote of uh, DVDs and CDs. And this was part of it. And this one was worth listening by itself. I forgot what it sold for. It wasn't like crazy money. It wasn't like game changing money. 
but it was like buy yourself a sandwich at Wawa money, which is pretty good for me. Eight bucks, eight bucks, you get a sandwich and some chips. So uh, thank you Teen Witch for providing me with that. That sold, I uh, sold this uh, license plate from the license plate storage unit. This sold for 14 bucks. This sold right here, this is really cool, Lowen, Lowenbra. It's a, like a beer, this is a beer tab handle. I got these last year. Uh, somebody was uh, somebody was selling them on next door and he was selling a whole lot of them for 50 bucks there was like 13 or 14 and I looked some of them up and they were selling for decent money so I drove drove like 15 minutes to get them but I, I did I think I only have two left so most of them sold and I got I've been getting really decent money for all of them this one right here this one right here sold for 25 dollars but I've had, I've had some that sold for 30, 40 bucks and plus. So that was a really good pickup for me. Uh, sold another one of these watches. I already talked about these quite a bit. These have been moving pretty rapidly. These sold for this one, these. This one sold for 28. And then last but not least, I sold this lot of Atrex right here. Uh, these weren't good enough to be listed individually. But I have a bunch of like different ones. I got like Jackson Brown in here, some heavy metal ones, wherever this guy is. Kind of creepy looking, not gonna judge. Uh, Glenn Campbell, sorry if saying you're creepy. Uh, this thing is a comedy one actually. Steve Martin, so this is yes, this is Steve Martin uh, stand-up A-Track, interesting to see that. Uh, just a huge mix of stuff. You got the Eiley Brothers, uh, Fats Domino over here. You get the point, right price. Yeah, so uh, they weren't worth listing individually, so I made a huge lot. These came from my original um, A-Track buy that I spent I think I spent ten dollars on and in a yard sale in media almost two years ago now, and uh, there was probably like fifty to sixty of these uh, Atrix in there, and most of them sold for between ten and twenty dollars each. And um, then the ones that didn't sell, I made a big lot of them. This was a sixteen right here, and they finally sold. I got twenty four dollars for that lot, so. Um, they still moved so um those are not the best atrex but if you ask katie reed katie if you're watching uh she's gonna probably have a video about this soon where she picked up some awesome atrex she had one that she listed and sold like in two minutes she got three dollars for it so don't be slipping slipping don't be sleeping or slipping on atrex as you see i still have a decent amount left this is not a lot that i'm selling but individual ones i see i still have a good amount of left in here and here and here and they are steady movers for me. So I like Atrex. A lot of people don't want to touch Atrex, but uh, I like Atrex. So um, anyways, that's it for these kind of sales. Uh, let me go and grab all the clothes and talk about those real quick. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back with all uh, the clothes that sold over the weekend. Like always, I'm just trying to run by them real quick so that I don't focus too much time and attention on them. I saw this Rue uh, Plus. Rue 21, same brand, uh, tanked up, got like 14 bucks for that. Sold this Fashion Bug, um, tanked up, got 12 hours for this. Fashion Bug is something I probably will never source again. I tried it for like two items, took forever to sell, so goodbye, good riddance. Fashion Bug, you guys already know, Fade of Glory, love me, Fade of Glory. Sell about two, three items, Fade of Glory, every single week. This was this, like little, little tank tube top dress thing, sold for 15 bucks. Another pretty good bread and butter item for me is Sonoma. Uh, so this Sonoma t-shirt sold for like 16 bucks. Men's t-shirt, pretty good. Uh, sold this Reebok um, active top uh, men's. I think sold for like 12 bucks. Reebok is probably one of the worst uh, performance brands out there. Like, you know, Nike is really good. Under Armour is pretty good. Adidas is okay. Reebok is below all of those, but they still sell. Um, I can sell them because I get them for dirt cheap. But if you're paying four or five bucks a good for them, I wouldn't recommend sourcing it. This is a pretty decent brand right here, Cynthia Rowley. Cynthia Rowley, so these women's pants, they sold for $22. They sold in a couple of weeks, so be on the lookout for that brand. Universal Thread sold these shorts for $10. Nothing too crazy here. Universal, Universal Thread, I believe it's a Target brand. Uh, they sell pretty good for me. Um, Express sold this Express top for 20 bucks. So this Dress Barn top for 14 dress barn sells pretty slowly but still sells uh this is an awesome brand i love selling victoria's secret uh this is a pink victoria's secret this is actually a pretty cool it's a phillies zip up jacket it says phillies on the back and it's a zip up jacket it's pretty cool that thing sold for like 16 bucks sold pretty quickly 
um, more Old Navy. I've already, meant, I've already made a video about Old Navy, how Old Navy sells all the time. These, this, these shorts sold for like 15 bucks. Um, kind of coal button up. Sold this guy for like 14. So happy to see him go. This I sold last night. It's an Eagles jersey. And somebody's paying me extra to overnight it to them in Tennessee. So uh, must be an important <laughs> sale. So I'm going to overnight that and get out the door today. And then last but not least, I sold this Nikki dress. Nikki, Nikki Pulos, I think that's how you pronounce it. This dress sold for $20. All right, that's it for sales. It's a huge variety of items this week. Like last week was just mainly clothes. This week I have 8-tracks, DVDs, books, CDs, purses, shoes, hats, plush, gloves, everything in between. So uh, it's pretty cool to see all this variety of stuff going out the door every single weekend. So uh, I need to hurry up, pack these guys up, and get them out of here. Like always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.